Do you kitty one thing, Laura? Great color. Uh -huh. Places, everyone, it's curtain time. <laughs> Hello, kitties. Furry Tail Theater is proud to present Oh Kitty and the Beast. <laughs> this is so boring. How much more do we have to do? We're almost done. Oh, great. We're down to our last cigarettes, too. Please, tell me there's a store somewhere in all these trees. <laughs> of course there is. Good. I'm going to head back. Could you pick up a new deck for me? A uh, what? You know, another pack of cigarettes. Oh, yeah, sure. Here's the money. You know, when we get back to the city, you're going to really fit right in. I think it means, uh, of course, engines don't run without food, and toys don't run without batteries. Those batteries wrecked our toys! Hey! Where are the others? They're caught. We've got to get to Trash Can Ken. <sighs> this is the life. I'll say, it's so nice not to have Cornelius and Pompadour rocking the boat. What did you say to them? Babar? Duck! Who are you talking to? Talking to? Yeah, I heard you say duck. This Mummy Toon, sir, is spooky. We found it. And Tim Dad thought, we can mess up this heist. Or Pop's gonna have to eat his words. <laughs> Piotr! Kiliana! Kiliana, you are safe. I hid when the soldiers came. Why do they do this? Do not fear, little sister. I will free our friends and our family. The soldiers brought our people here. I will free them now! Piotr, wait! Jill, you've never been a twin. Exactly. It's one more thing I can check off my titty list. Sure, I've never twinned before, but what the heck? Plus, if it works out, you need a will and I'm a Dill. <clears throat> and on this day, your first birthday, I, the Elderus McNulty, pass down to you, Teddy, our family's ball. This very same ball that has been in our family since I was only, uh... This money will now be yours to throw and catch and roll until another McNulty is born. Do you accept this responsibility? Good morning, Tutu. <laughs> Say, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing in a forest like this? Just taking some pictures. I'm gonna be a photographer. <laughs> Say cheese! Getting a shot of that cute little deer, huh? Actually, I'm shooting the cute little rattlesnake you're standing on. Are you a... I am fine. Thank you. It was a great performance. You really moved the spirits. <laughs> At least they had the courtesy to wait until I was finished. It was strange. All during the performance, I felt a coldness under my feet. And then a rush of cold air right before the keyboard began to glow. I dreamed of it. I told everyone that someone from the outer world would save the fire and our way of life. But they did not believe me. Wait, wait! What do you mean, outer world? Where are we? Why, here, of course. But where is here? If you heard a firebringer sent to save us, you are not very clever, are you? Okay, one thing's clear. We're dealing with a demonic force that's attracted to laughter. That's what the victims have in common. The man in the alley, that guy watching TV, Roland, they were all laughing. But not you. I'm not a laugher. But why is the demon dressed like a clown? Bait. If it can't find laughter, it tries to invoke it. I know, I got a free puppet show. You're just a doll. You didn't smile at me, right? I'm a Molly dolly. I'm a Molly dolly. I know. I'm a Molly dolly. Stop that! Can't you say anything else? I'm 
I'm a Molly dolly, and I'm gonna get you. Look, Molly, I'm not afraid of you. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm a witch. Ooh, I'm scared. So I guess not sold separately. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ugh, where do I start? You could start with the shoehorn on your nose. You know, I honestly forgot I still had it there. <laughs> Are you laughing at me or... Eh, who cares? I'll take it. I'm Bobby. Debbie. Debbie with an I-E or Debbie with a Y? Y. Y with a Y or with a W-H-Y? <laughs> lies! Oh, lies! Your Honor, this is outrageous! Who among us hasn't been guilty of a triple felony? That's triple parking, you idiot. She was with me that afternoon. I've never seen this creep before in my life. Oh my gosh, what an adorable baby. Is he yours? Well, of course he is. He's got his daddy's eyes. And his smile. Well, if you ever need any help or just someone to meet in the park, call me. Uh, I saw them first. Not even. Totally. Bye-bye, uh -uh. baby. Bye, little munchkin cake. Hope to see you soon. How does two o'clock sound? Well, that was forward. A little brazen, but I liked it. Give me five, kid. Uh, thanks, I think. No, you can't take him now. Whoa, mama. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. No, excuse me, Gretchen. I'm sorry, do I know you? No, but I know you. At least, I know all about you. I was hoping you could sign my Young Genius Girl magazine. Just make it out to Becky Benson. Come on down and eat your toast, it's getting cold! Don't waste your breath, Mom. TJ's not coming down. Not coming down? Well, what's the matter? Is he sick? He's always been sick. Watch the slander, Becky. Hey, I don't know what his problem is. All he told me was that he wasn't coming down, and that was good enough for me. Are you okay? You're glad I'm staying over, right? You don't want me to go home, do you? Don't you dare! Good, because this friendship means absolutely everything to me! Ashitaka! Kaya, what are you doing here? You know it's forbidden. Do you think I care about that? I came to give you this so you won't forget your little sister. Your crystal dagger. Kaya, I can't take this. Please keep it with you, brother, to protect you. You must take it with you, please. I want you to have it. So you won't forget. You came in here to make me sick. Huh? You're a bad germ from outside, aren't you? I'm not a germ, I'm a human. Now would you please let go of me? You'll get sick if we go outside. So stay here and play with me. If you go, I'll cry. And Mama will hear me, and Mama will come in here and kill you. Play with me, or I'll break your arm. Um, excuse me, Mr. Monster. Um, I was wondering if you would, uh, be so kind as to stop destroying Townsville. We like our town very, very much, and I would appreciate it if you would just leave. Pretty please with sugar lumps on top? I'm a systems and data analyst at police headquarters. Aside from paying my rent, it gives me access to all police activity. I can hack in whenever I want. Just don't tell my dad. Like it or not, we're all you've got. You either play with us or give up the game. Please tell me something exciting is happening. Poison Ivy is causing mayhem downtown. Yes! Give me ten minutes. My dad doesn't know my secret identity, and I can't sneak out until he's asleep. Then Supergirl and I must proceed without you. No! I'll be there. I'll figure something out. I'll... Shoot! First of all... I realize this is probably not how you thought the story would start. Not with a big, shiny moon, or a city that could look stunning in spite of itself. Or me. But I wanted you to know that before the horror began, before it all came crashing down, there was a time when capes and cowls and fighting crime really was exciting. Just you and me, Lieutenant Gordon. Mom's at an early meeting. We're having eggs in a hole with bacon. So, what perp are you after today? First, it's Dad, not Lieutenant. Second, perp? Yeah, perp. Bad guy. I know what perp means, Barbara. Just figure maybe I can help. Take a look at the case file. And if I do a good job, you'll introduce me to Batman?
Hey, Sharina, did you get a ticket to the Belly Flop concert yet? Not yet. I have to rush over to the box office. If we ever get out of here, I'm so psyched. This group is the ultimate in alt rock. Cloudy skies and rain clouds have come to stay. Windy nights and sad sights won't go away. La, 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 la. But I want to be without a care. Unicorns and butterflies everywhere. Like me? Oh, oh well, it's not love, but it's a start. Oh, Janet, you've made me the happiest man in the whole world. Cookie? Oh, yes, of course you can have a cookie. Stay right there. Okay, that was much better, but it still sucked worse than anything I've ever seen. What's wrong with you guys? That totally sucked. You guys call yourselves cheerleaders? Well, I call you cheer losers. Mm, this Cindy is definitely the alpha of the group. And what happened with the pyramid? I almost broke my neck. Oh, look at the little birdie. <laughs> oh, what the devil is that ghastly noise? It's me, Eliza Pinchley. You are a flower, little baby. Excuse me, what I think you mean to say is, would I like a flower? Heavens, you don't so much speak the language as chew on it and spit it out. Gone. what's wrong with the way I talk? <laughs> Everything. Look, here's a shiny sixpence if you keep your mouth shut and go away. Well, Tom, at this moment, we're approaching the suspect's house. Well, Tom, it appears the real arsonist is in custody, thanks to an anonymous tip to the authorities. And you're... the Olsen twins? Blast! Damn you all! Victory is mine! Whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? I'm six years old, and tap dancing is my favorite thing, even if it's not good for my pacemaker. Break a leg, Bander. Oops! Looks like you already did. You are an evil, heartless troll. So actually, we have a lot in common. In another life, we could have been friends. No chance, garbage can face. You're the... Oh! Hi, Carver. It's Christy. Oh, hey, Christy. What's up? Not much. I've just been thinking of you. Oh, really? Tell me, Carver, are you a romantic? If you were my boyfriend, could I call you Pickle Toes? Oh my gosh, Thompson Overman just asked you to hang. You are so lucky. Like, so lucky. He's such a hunk. Like, so hunky. It says here, Falala was hospitalized for malnutrition. Uh, her life has had so much tragedy. It's so romantic. Penny! Hey, Penny! You want to come over to my house after school? Oh, that'd be fun. But I can't. I have to do that report on Peru, land of tungsten. But that's due in three weeks. That's why I have to start right away. And anyway, I promised one of my neighbors I'd walk her dog. <laughs> Sorry, Sebastian. Melody child! How many times do I have to tell you? It, it is expressly, expressly forbidden, forbidden for you, you to, to be swimming, swimming beyond the safety of the sea wall. The Any the such swimming is a reckless disregard of the rules, don't you know? Stop that. <laughs> oh, Sebastian, I can't help it. I just love the sea! No, oh, don't look now, but dinner exploded on your face. Yeah, and that is two hours past curfew. Oh. <gasps> oh, is it a boy? Oh, if it's a boy, I'm gonna die! Ugh, drama. I mean, I'm happy for you, Ariel. It's just that uh, I'm two years older than you, and the only one I've come even close to kissing is Stevie. Ew, squid lips, Stevie. It, it was on a dare! Whatever. Thanks for flying Windshear Airlines. We know you have a choice when you fly, and we can't believe you chose us. You know, Daddy's always saying the nastiest things about you. But I don't think you're a jarhead rocket jockey. Never did. You, uh, remember me from the old days? Sure. I always loved that adorable dimpled chin of yours. And you still got it. The dimple, I mean. Please. Funny, I... I still think of you as a cute little kid. Well, I'm not little anymore, but am I still cute? Some friend making me climb all the way up here. Eddie's just lazy. I agree. Huh? I said I agree. Your friend's throw is way off. Oh, 
Oh, uh, um, he should have been the one to come get the ball, but I'm glad it was you. You, you, me? me? My name's Cindy. What's yours? L L Lloyd. My name's Lloyd. Oh, uh, what's yours? Uh, Cindy, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you go to Luna Vista? I don't know. Do I? I mean, yeah, I do. I sure do. <laughs> me too. I started this week. The following rides are open today. All of them, including the Spleen Puncher. Nothing could possibly ruin this day! I don't believe in luck, but I do subscribe to the theory of horribly inconvenient coincidences. I mean, look at all these awesome rides. They can't all break down. I'm gonna stay positive. Looks like his tree bark is worse than his overbite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everything will be just fine, Princess Mandy. It's man die! And nobody leaves me at the altar! Nobody! You prepare to accept wedded bliss or eat hot plasma! Hi, I'm Pop Diva Brittany Brittany. These are the Britney Britney dancers. And we're here for the fair. Ah, I got soap in my eye. Stupid mean soap. You'll never work in this town again. My vendetta is none of your concern. Your involvement in this matter is irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. A mote of dust floating for a moment in a sea of time. I did it. Now Ronnie will be okay. Mar, why did you do it? I think I was destined to come here. Thank you, Cleo, for everything. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w w wait, but you attacked us! Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. Randy yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. <gasps> <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I know who's got it going on. Welcome to the training grounds. This is where pre-crime officers come to work on their basic skills. Don't worry about hurting him. He can take it. Now, try a strong, strong grab combo. What I want is a house that's really haunted. I mean, there must be one somewhere in Louisiana. There is. I work in it. Sorry, I couldn't help it over here. I work as a chef in a house on Moon Sky Island. A house that really is haunted. Jinkies! My name is Lena. Lena Dupre. Fred Jones. This is Velma Dinkley and Daphne Blake. Charmed. A real genius, that one. I am the most powerful, and one of the most powerful. Why shouldn't I be in charge? I haven't even started. I hate this. What's wrong, child? I tried, High Father. Really, I have. But look. Patience, my dear. Everything has a purpose and a place. Everything? And I'm Caitlin O'Shaughnessy Ruiz. And who's passing the reviewing stand now? But the Veterans Legion Honor Guard, followed by the Madison High School Marching Band. That's right, Rick. Superman is held by officers from the police department's 19th precinct. And next up, more heroes. Some of the brave policemen, firefighters, and emergency workers who serve Metropolis every day. We have no sign of them for a decade. Yet they resurface just when our defenses are most compromised. My children, come. Verbena, Aster, you two must get word to Admiral Lantana on Erend. Deep within the Pydian system, you must bring back our navy. You are our only hope. We humbly beg your forgiveness for our trespass. We meant no offense, and certainly no conspiracy. We are on an urgent mission, for our homeworld Chrysalis is under attack. Our ancient enemies, the vile Squoomians, have returned from the depths to lay siege on our capital. As the palace burned, our parents sent us into space with orders to recall our Star Navy and bring them home to repel this heinous attack. 
I'm afraid Henry is a geologist. Can you imagine anything so dreary? Studying rocks all day? And boring. I don't know what you see in him, Greenlee. As exciting, like mm, Tarzan. I mean, all women want their men to be well rounded. I'm on the Landscaping Society's webpage, accessing the greenhouse blueprints now. Crackers, there's a warm air ventilation duct in the exotic tropical section. Where are you now? Tender perennials. Can you make it? I'll have to. Fill more out. Good luck. Ingrid out. I mean, I know Dr. Draken is your arch foe, but it seems to me she goes the really dangerous one. I mean, if she put her mind to do it, she could be the toughest villain out there, don't you think? Kim? Kim? Thanks for the lift, Latina. Kim, duh. It's the least I could do after you saved my Chicago show. Aw, oh, the backstage fire was no big. For you, maybe. Must be so awesome not to be afraid of anything. You know, Ron, I happen to think it's kind of nice here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Sure. I mean, the woods are, you know, woodsy. And, and well, just look at the lake. It seems so peaceful. I'm having a little get-together tonight. No biggie, just 50 of my closest friends. You have to do a write-up for the paper. My mind is never troubled. People come, people go. It's pointless to be upset about Cyborg. What? Um, I know this isn't my style, but we just kicked Slade's butt. Shouldn't we celebrate or something? Prom is tomorrow, Daddy. I don't have time to find another date, so you're gonna find one for me! Now, kitten, be reasonable. You don't seriously expect me to. And I don't want just anyone. I want someone handsome and popular and totally cool. Someone no other girl could get. Someone who'll drive Fang wild with jealousy. There's no time to rest, Beast Boy. We'll be fine. We can't just leave him behind. Put it out of your mind, Beast Boy. It helps. We're all very proud of you, Garfield. Take care. Clutch it! Let's get out of here! Huh? You're with him? Traitor! Nothing personal. Now that was unexpected. Oops. Did I do that? Gnark and I go way back. I'm Cole. Nice to meet you, Nark. It's Gnark. Gnark. Caveman, huh? Nice to meet you. Gnark! It's okay. Come down. Sorry, Gnark's not so good with people from the upper world. You want a scary story? Sure. Once upon a time, a creature of darkness crawled into the world. The light hurt her eyes, so she shut all but two of them. To hide herself from the light, she wrapped herself in a cloak of darkness. The lady in the cloak made friends. A man made of tin, a princess, a hyena, and a tiny, tiny little elf. Oh my gosh, you can talk, Silky. Oh my gosh, I can talk! Two little Silky, no! Need to activate our powers. Zan? From now on, you are not leaving my side. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers, activate. Shape up. Sloth. Sloth.
Hi, Dorko. Uh, uh, you might remember me as the winner of the Trying Wizard Cup. I'm Nigel Plant. Please Pla move. You're geeking up my beach. I'm ready, Dorko. Buongiorno. I am Alexandra Vigi from the Pompeii Historic Tourist Bureau. I will take you to the memorable locations of this beautiful ancient place and answer any questions. If you use your imaginations, you can picture life here as it was in the first century AD. It's amazing! Here you see bygone houses, shops, baths, theaters, and gymnasiums not that different from those of today. Where did you come up with the idea for a combination roller coaster and all you can eat buffet? <laughs> it just came to me, man! Well, all you can hurl is gonna be a great ride. This is as cool as anything my sister's ever designed. Hmm. Chris really comes up with all the ideas. I just figure out how to build them, make them safe, and publicize them. The buffet line will be at the entrance to the ride. Uh, not again! Could you ring these up, Miss Trudy? Uh, today's my first day on the job, and I haven't used the register yet, but I'll try. Ow! You're gonna have to ring these up yourselves. I gotta go find a bandage! Oh my gosh. D did you just cut one with Hector standing right next to you? <laughs> yeah. But I blame the smell on the compost. I think you bought it. Told you you shouldn't have that 12 bean salad. <laughs> oh, Hobbit Piggly's having the best time of his life being the boss of the whole farm. He's the luckiest lad in the whole world. Piggly, will you draw with me? Oh, I've no time for child's play, Molly. I have grown-up work to do. You stay here and keep an eye on Dad. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. I can handle it from here. Well, congratulations. You win an all-expense-paid trip out the airlock. Hope you don't mind letting yourself out. I hate that popping sound of bodies decompressing in space. <laughs> Put that Lombax in his place. What? <gasps> He is a Lombax! Kronk, Zephyr, lower your weapons! I can't recall a thing. All I know is that my name seems to be Seth Balmore. People say I used to be a pirate. Oh, I've been waiting for this! It's a letter from my pen pal. Dear friend, good news! I'm going to come visit you today! At last, we'll get to see each other in person! That's wonderful! I finally get to see my pen pal! Hi guys, what's going on? He saved Wuzzleberg from a dangerous crusty Kragosaurus! He did? Whoopsie, why are you pretending to be a hero? You know that Chumley wasn't dangerous. Whoopsie, maybe you better say something. Aren't you glad you told the truth, Whoopsie? I just want to play. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Tigress, I am Shifu. I am... Afraid? No. Well, you should be. I am Tigress. Tigress the monster. The monster no one wants. Read the sign. What sign? Oh. I forgot. I know you forgot! All I ask for is one day a year! One! I know, but... But you love this kitchen! That's not true. I love you both. Oh, really? Well, if you love this kitchen so much, why don't you marry it? So then he says I have to move out. I mean, hello? I live here? This is my home? Who does this Porter St. Powell guy think he is anyway? Chairman of the board. What does that even mean? They should just call him Big Jerk who thinks he's in charge of everything. Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? He's a pathological liar. Each of us clones represents one aspect of your personality. He's a coward. He's an egomaniac. He's a suck-up. He's a liar. I am not. So, which part of me did you come from? 
Don't ask. Hang in there, soldier! The damage is too severe. I'm gonna have to amputate. What? Don't worry. Cybertron service will issue a replacement leg within six to eight solar cycles. You're out of your mind. Crazy. That is a fruitcake. No way I'm giving this up. You remember our deal, don't you? I, I help you, you help me. Yeah, well, if it means giving up this baby, then the deal is off. Over, done, finito. Ooh, the Autobot Elite Guard. This should be fun. Fall back? He cannot be serious. Right. You have the bot. Fall back! So let me get this straight. You've been in a coma for 20 years? But now you're awake, and you're using your brain powers to contact the X-Men in the past to try and stop this future from happening? I wouldn't have summed it up quite like that, but yes. You're crazy. No way you're Charlie X. Do not be fooled by the House of Magnus, X-Men. Who are you? Magneto is not what he pretends to be. Please, meet me back at the cells in ten minutes. I'll show you the truth. Careful, kid. These boots were made for squashing. Bugs. We better not let Babyface get too much of a head start. I'm gonna find out why he broke out the gang. You should join me. That is, if you think you can keep up. Ooh, so close. Just another picture-perfect day in Fawcett City. Holy moly! Our greatest foes have joined forces! Don't worry, Batman. We'll figure out a way to stop the de-aging process. Hot dogs and lemonade? Are we celebrating something? Looks like it's time for the magic words. And I don't mean please or thank you. Although I do miss the baby Batman. You are so adorable. You better stop acting like babies or I'm gonna tell you. Stop! You're destroying the city! Gotta turn him back in the kids. Oh, of course. Hey, Kappa Marble Jr. But my queen. Letting down our guard is precisely what we must do. And now, before yet another century passes, is the time to re-engage ourselves with the old world. Even if only to add some new material to our library. Had to be a meteor, right? I mean, what else could it have been? <laughs> I lost me mom! <laughs> Good day! Let's get ice cream before... <laughs> Son of the Papa! Not at all, Ted. I expect the mayor's credibility rating to go through the roof, especially if he's successful in the mutant negotiations. Between this, his strong stand on Batman, and his choosing a woman as the next police commissioner, I think we're seeing a whole new mayor. Public perception-wise, that is. Where have you been all this time? You're, like, gone. Been busy. You even gonna make it to the fairgrounds tomorrow? Opening day? Our tradition? Ugh, it's this night job. Details. What was I thinking? She's definitely not a broad I'd want to hook up with. Don't say that, handsome. Actually, you're just my type. Thanks, but no thanks. You'd be even more dashing if you were writhing in agony. Come closer to me. You know this song? Nope. How tragic. Then let me teach you. Kilgore will accept nothing less than your complete and utter surrender! When Kilgore hands you to the cluster, they'll see he is a force to be reckoned with! Not belittled, not humiliated, but reckoned! You students, this has never happened before. At least, not in my lifetime. Can I teach them to walk on their fingers, Master? Or how to blend into the shadows? Or maybe to walk on walls? And ceilings, too? They are not what I expected. Welcome, my new and strangely attired friends. Bonjour, Guardian of the Temple. What is your name? I am Boris Antonio Ralph Jean-Pierre Galvan IV. Respectfully, Guardian, Miss Princess Akaila invited us to take care of the temple. You think 
think I'm strong now? Just wait until midnight when my concert goes global and the whole world's chanting my name. Then you'll all be my slaves. Man, that's good. I'm gonna miss these kids. They're a waterfall of misery. There you are. You hooked up the device? Look at you. What are you? A ghost trying to fit in with humans? Or some creepy little boy with creepy little powers? Yeah, see, I promised this other guy I'd help him save his planet today, so... Even we, with all our powers, can't stop it. But you've defeated far worse. Coop? Yeah, he's, uh... He's a lot cuter than I expected. We can't wait to see you pummel that creepy Kurdok. It's too hard. I'll never create an imaginary friend who's mean, tough, strong, and really big so as he can smash those guys. Smash! Aww. Awesome! I done did it! Now, let's see. Your name can be... Green! No, Red! The Varkon Commodore. He's a complete madman. He's destroyed hundreds of populated planets, including my home world. What is that device you're so closely guarding? This is the key to his power. It's an oracular device. You can literally cheat your own future. It allows you to win in any given combat situation. Did it work? Nani! It did! I'm a full-fledged grown-up! Cool! Huh? Oh, no! These are all the old experiments I caught 20 years ago! Stitch, we've got to get you and Skip out of here before you get... Hold it right there! Caught! Look, if I can figure this thing out, maybe I can help people. I mean, really help them, not just, you know, make things worse. So, what did it feel like going all alien like that? It freaked me out at first. It was like I was me, but it was also like I was somebody else. Hey, I think I figured out how I did it. Should I try it again, just once? Your cash request has been denied. Good work, Ben. Oh yeah, I'm ready for anything. Bring it on. What's next? We're heading off to see your Aunt Vera for the weekend. Ugh, boring old Aunt Vera? No! Wait a minute. You're... me? Gwen? Actually, I've been going by Gwendolyn since college. College? Ivy League? Do I have a master's? Look, I didn't bring you here to find out about your future. I came back to bring Ben. So, why nab me? I remembered Ben's listening skills sort of stunk. Grabbing you was the only way I knew he'd come. Kenneth Tennyson. Aunt Gwendolyn! Actually, your first doofus cousin, once removed. Aren't you ever gonna grow up? Sorry I'm missing the party. I'm still stuck here on Zorastar, tracking down the Red Dragon from the 8th Pit of Navato. But I got you this in the meantime. This is fully cool! Hmm, which of your 10,000 aliens should I try first? Which of 10 alien heroes? If I started with 10, so can you. Uh, okay. Mm, let's see. Forearms, definitely. Way big, diamond head, ooh, atomics, yeah. Dad, most of those dudes are so feeble. I mean, Shellhead's just a big turtle whose only power is to hide in his shell. And Topic even grosses me out. Well, if you don't like it, I can always take it back. No, no, but you gotta at least trade Topic for, I don't know, gray matter? Let me see if I can help. He must be this way. Oh, man. What? Well, if I knew I could just go different aliens if they touched the watch, I'd have let them scratch it a long time ago. I'd be an awesome Vilgax. I'm so excited about being the flower girl. Do you know we get to dance in front of everyone? Isn't that great? Gwen! Surprised to see me? Cousin Lucy? What are you doing here? 
I've been working with the plumbers for a couple of months now. Don't worry, I promise I won't get mud on anything. I graduated early from Plumber Academy, number one in my class. I've already been promoted four times. Gods, seize my father! But why? Sentimental old fool. After you paid my ransom, I offered 77 twice as much to overthrow you. Actually, I have to respect that. <laughs> it's customary for a new emperor to celebrate with a show of force. The ends of your lively planet will make beautiful fireworks for my coronation. Why do they not respond? Hello? Planetary shield blocking all communication? Conquer worlds much? We got a hole! Now, celebrated Calaveras Legion, go! Snap up Earth like it's some kind of sugar bug! Ben Tennyson, motion to greet our honored guest and hear him out. Bellicus, vengeance is not our way. Vengeance is absolutely my way. I know he hurt your feelings when he abandoned us. He hurt mine, too. Welcome to the finest discount Lufa Emporium in Undertown! Ooh! Can I try it wet? No, no! This is a sponge shop! Even one single drop of water in here would be bad! Very, very bad! Stop! No water in my sponge shop! You hear me? Aw, oh, man! Lame alien! No, not an Emuina! Stay back! Or this guy will do what this guy does. Agent Levin was there, collecting the experiments before we can. I'll be there before Levin knows what hit him. Proctor, we do have pressing business elsewhere. Let me get Tennyson. Good morning. Ben 10, huh? I'm 13 better than that. The richest, most famous guy in the world. I'm basically in charge. Yeah, not quite the same setup in my dimension. That's too bad. You'd really like being the world's greatest hero. I advise you to surrender. I have injured all of your extremities. What are you doing, Mazuma? Put me down! Apologies, sir. You snapped. Magister Pratelade! <laughs> hmm. Right here, Proctor. Remember all those nasty ways to hurt you? So what exactly are you? You're much more powerful than just a human. My strength comes from training, not from some curse in my blood. Are you so sure of that? I was convinced once that my blood was pure, but then I saw what my pure blood was capable of. <gasps> this area is restricted. I, I was just, uh, looking for the little boy's room. The film? I, I, I'm sorry, you'll have to speak to Mr. White about that. Editor-in-chief of the Daily Planet? Hmm, you know something, newsboy. You're kinda cute. I, I am? Too bad I have to break you. I'm really easy to get along with. The truth is, I have an almost preternatural ability to communicate with others. Preternatural? Mm-hmm. Practically supernatural. You know, psychokinesis, ESP, Jedi mind stuff. You believe in all that, don't you? Lloyd, you are a kind person. But if you allow your kindness to interfere with your judgment, you're merely weak. Fultz just lost his faith in people. Make your vow and try forming a pact one more time. You can do it, Sheena. Dr. Jekyll? Are you there? <sighs> Who are you? Gabriel Van Helsing, miss. And I'm... You should not be here, Mr. Van Helsing. Mm. Well, don't mind me. Well, I'm not certain you should be here, miss. Very humorous, sir. But you please me. So you may address me as... Mum. Get some. There's nothing quite like cherry pie baked by my Aunt Daisy. She always bakes me one when I come visit. Look forward to it, actually. It may sound like I'm bragging, but it's really the best cherry pie in the whole world. I figured this out yesterday. Your cat's okay. 
Yeah, thanks. Ready? <laughs> it's those boys. <sighs> what is it about you that keeps me coming back? Your boyish charm, hot bud, tons of money. If only I were shallow. There's something deeper bubbling below your surface. It's not hard to imagine why you're out to save the world with science and all your charities. The question is, when will you let someone rescue you? Look at this dark gem. It's pulsating with evilness. Still, it would look nice on an engagement ring. Don't you think, Spyro? Thanks for rescuing me, Spyro. My name's Blink. Blink the more. Please, help me. The nasty creatures have taken over the skating rink, and I can't find my husband Phil to do anything about it. Spyro, you've done it! The force field has disappeared! I thought I was gonna be trapped in here forever! This way leads to Nasty's lair. Now go and run his gnarly butt! Look, you boys have what it takes to win out there. Thanks, baby. I meant the car. It's a beaut! Free floating V chassis, 326 superheaders, channel lock universal weapons cage, very nice. But to keep competitive, you'll have to modify your ride as often as possible. Maybe if you ask nicely, I'll install stuff. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the great volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. Hey guys, check this out. By increasing the size of this microbe on Sinestro's attack droid, I may be able to determine its point of origin. Bingo. This particular microbe is indigenous only to a moon in the Zant Quadrant. I'm not gonna bring you any more brains if you're gonna be so mean to them. No matter what I do? No, no matter what. I've changed my makeup. Did you notice? Ah, men. They never notice these kinds of things. You're back on your feet already? Wow, what a body. Yes, I've taken too much time already. Azula, my sister, what are you doing here? You caught me. Wait, what's that? I think it's your honor. Where? She escaped, but how? The city of Bossing Se can hide no longer! No! Bad Fire Nation, baby! Oh, alright. I know you did not just swing your pole at me! You're little, you're little, you're small! Exercising my rights is the most adored and popular girl in school. Anybody got a problem with that? This is nothing compared to what's been homecoming, Queen. Then I'll be carried from class to class. Flies will cater to my every whim. And I'll be a celebrity wherever I go. I'm glad you're finally here. Would you be a dear and fetch my bags, servant girl? Uh, what did you just call me? Servant girl? Oh, many pardons, or my bad. What do you people call yourselves these days? Mammy, Mooly, Topsy, Shfuggy? I don't want my new friends to think I'm ungrateful. But when people promise to keep Toot well fed, they goddamn better keep Toot well fed! But you just put it in me already? Even if you just need a place to pee! We need to make it where there ain't no competition. We need to move on them. Push them out street by street, block by block. That's what Beanie Seagull would do. Why don't we just get the kids at school to work for us instead of the school? How? Huh. We'll walk up to them and say hi, and they say what? And then we say, this is our block. Now you gonna get down or you gonna lay down? And if they be like, oh, oh, I don't know, let me think about it. We pull out the Roscoe and we be like, block out, block out! And they be like, oh, you shot me! And we be like, take that, faggots! Having all the stuff is okay. It's the pressure I could do without. Yeah, your work here seems very stressful. Do you have any idea what it's like to have everyone expect you to grow up to be some great, important person? Actually, I do. It's just that I don't have a big thing I want to do with my life. 
I just want to be normal, tinker with my bots, have some friends, and I'm not even any good at that. Don't be stupid. It's obvious who freed them. It was Imperiax, wasn't it? We didn't know. We didn't care. We were only concerned with destroying the Legion. You managed to save a few, but time grows short for your friends on Tacron Galtos. I can play that game too. <laughs> And I've had more practice. Ooh, impressive, Saturn girl. Given the chance, you could become a formidable telepathic enemy. Too bad we'll never let you get that chance. Thera, now! Wow, it seems so unfair to hit these big giant apes when I'm so much stronger than they are. Doomsday clones. Like little baby doomsdays, only not so cute and cuddly. Uh, darling, you're not here to sign up, are you? Why do you ask? Darling, it is a beauty pageant, love, not a dog show. I'll pass, Gabby, dear. It's a little beneath me, you know? And here I thought you'd be falling all over yourself to win that fabulous Palm Beach vacation. Yes, darling, the Palm Beach, Gatsby's grand prize for the winner. <sighs> Sarah had a vision. Oh, how bad are we talking here? Go ahead, tell him. I wouldn't let it ruin your day or anything. It's just the Huntsman is putting together a plan that will mean the total annihilation of all magical creatures. <laughs> oh, and oh, you're going to get a really huge sit next week. What about you, Karen? You're supposed to see the happy stuff. Let's see. I see a vision of girls fighting over Spud. Really? Tell me more. Okay, I see you guys setting a trap to catch a member of the Hunts clan, and it works. Whoopee! Uh, right now isn't a very good time. The biker trolls are back in town. They're running rampant. Someone's gotta do something. Hey, watch it! <laughs> what am with that tomboy? Shoes up! Oh, my bad. I didn't see you. I must have a blind spot for a horrid hat. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, we don't dish with freakos in Frasney ensembles. Jody, Jody, Jody! Jody, this is one rockin' B-Day bash! Thanks, Roger. Who wants to dance with the Rudge Man? I'm a rageaholic volcano, and I needs to burn off some lava! Ophelia, dance with me. Hello, Riley. Sierra, what are you doing here? I think you know why we're here. Get her, girls! Hey, stop it! What are you doing? What's going on? Welcome to Troop Sassy Sunflower. You want me to join you? Oh, honey, you are one of us. Devious, shifty, willing to do anything to win. Check out our designer jerky. The only difference between yours and ours is a two-cent label. Hey, guys, I got my potion. Well, apparently ogres don't get happily ever afters. We should just go in there and take it. I know where the potions are. Follow me. Mr. Creed snuck into Genosha to rescue me, but one thing led to another, and we were surrounded by guards. Just as I was about to teleport us to safety, I was hit on the head. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. Is Mr. Creed okay? I'd appreciate you not talking like that about Mr. Creed. I know people say he's mean, but he has a good heart. What do you say? Forget him. He's not the right doctor for you. You've said that about the last three. Listen to me, April. We're gonna wait six months. By then, I'll be your doctor. And we'll deal with this once and for all. You're gonna be my doctor? Oh, man. Now I'm really in trouble. The doctor says all those years of secondhand pipe smoke has significantly reduced my life expectancy. It didn't help that you're six foot eleven and weigh seventy pounds. The irony is Popeye's just fine. I want a craftsman in a good school district. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm expressing my individuality. All my friends have tattoos. How the hell are you gonna get a job when you grow up? You think a law firm or a bank will hire you now? I don't think so. Yeah, the first national bank of dad can kiss my ass. My YouTube channel is blowing up, okay? I'm famous. Wait a minute. It's forbidden for us to be in the ruins, isn't it? That's the point. Jiro, 
I hope you know that hanging around with Shu is liable to get you killed one day. Nuclear warheads must never be used. They are terrible weapons. Everything dies. People, animals, trees, the earth. My name is Pass, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. This photo, it is from the other day, right? I like it a lot. I look kind of silly, but it's got a peaceful feel to it. Peace Day was a lot of fun. Everyone cheered at the end, even though I missed a few high notes. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, sleepyhead. Gino! Gino! <laughs> He's just sleepy. Let me know when the fight starts. You've already lost. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Already identified 17 ways to beat you. So, we finally meet. I'm Serena Patel, head of Alchemax's Shadow Division. Never heard of it. Yes, that's why it's called Shadow Division. Ah, touche. So, what's the master plan, Patel? You shadowy types always have one. Hmm, I could kill you, or I could explain everything and then kill you. I think I'll just kill you. A comment like that requires an explanation, Sif. I'll tell you what needs explaining, Thor. Why you have never once ceded victory to the Einajar, the most celebrated warriors in Asgard. I am simply more skilled than they. How can that be? They have battled the fiercest creatures in all the Nine Realms, and you have never even left the royal grounds. I cannot endure this ordeal any longer. We are not watching any more shows about funny pets. If Falcon and Wolverine weren't out in space on Thanos Patrol, they'd be on my side. I don't want to go back to being an evil intern daddy. My home is with the Squatties. I'm one of them now. If you need me, you know where I'll be. Reed, darling, don't let them get away! <sighs> Never changes. I always have to clean up after my little brother. Actually, Herbie's in charge. You'll be his assistant. My high score? What is he talking about? I programmed a bogus high score under your name. John keeps trying to surpass it. You're a genius. Meet your new space navigator. <laughs> Herbie? The Fantastic Four's cute yet comedic robot? No, Herbie the singing cowboy. Wanna see a robot trick? I'll ask again. What is a jump station? Uh -huh. Welcome to the age of teleportation. These are the prisoners, Princess Anel. I know that. The question is, how many of them must I vaporize before the others talk? Now you're cooking with gas. What year is this? Uh, 1942. AD. Are you really from the future? Ben, all my newest pieces of art ruined. It'll take months before I'm ready to show in a gallery again. We want what you want. Where is he? <laughs> I don't know. He's working and I miss him. I wanted the heroes for hire to help me find him. Don't cross my path. Oh, say, can you see me? Firestar! Supernova! I love flying! This will blow your mind. Rogue, for the X-Man. Here I come, sugar. Kitty, kitty, kitty is here. It's your friendly neighborhood spider girl. Good things come in small packages. Janet Van Dyne. Here goes nothing! <sighs> Man, you in the wrong room. This is detention. Ain't nobody doing no arts up in here, stupid ass. Six Street Psychos, yo. If we got to leave early, we might still make it to the liquor store before the blind guy's shift is up. Excuse me, Mrs. Glavin? Have you seen Benny, Don, or Matthew? Oh, I just saw them. They're in the nurse's office. Is today the day they do the scoliosis tests? Oh, <laughs> no. They were brutally beaten. <gasps> Many of your kind ally with the authority. So I had to make sure that you didn't fall victim to Cross's propaganda before exposing our movement. The Resistance. You've developed quite a reputation with the Settlers. Does this mean you like me? Swing clubs! Home run! Touchdown! Papa! Qua? 
I don't like golf. Silence. Without the four gods, we have no hope of victory. That's what So Yu was searching for. And then, just when the Kirin had found them for us, you had to go and ruin everything! Hello there, Mr. Producer. I'll be just a minute here. Okay? Let's see. Target market, mostly male, 18 to 24 years old. Interests, ugh, senseless violence, high-tech weaponry. And here's my cuddly little teddy bear, and my wax lips, and my sign Andy Warhol lithograph, and my cute little bunny foot. Did I hear you say you got yourself a cute little bunny foot? Uh-huh. Find the cove. You must gather all five of the chart stones. Together, they form a map. The key to opening the cave is a silver locket. My little sister is going to be born soon. She's kind of different from a normal sister. I mean, my mom won't be giving birth to her. But, my mother and sister, I want you to look after them for me, okay? Hey, Chris. Yeah, Beth? See you on the other side. Chris, that was amazing. How did you defeat the Tickle Monster? You mean, y you didn't hear me? No, I was laughing so hard I could barely even see straight. And when my heart is... What you doing? What? What's happening? Girlfriend, uh, ma'am. Plum, remember me from ten minutes ago? Yeah. So you're just chilling out singing to the wall, huh? <laughs> hey, why are you all up in my jam all of a sudden? What? Beth was right. You are interesting. Hey, Chris, can I try something weird? I can't go. Not unless everyone else goes too. Thanks for helping save our place. He's got internal injuries. A broken rib. Some bleeding, but I can fix him. Here. He'll be okay. Well, what about Bad Bill? He said there was more than one of them crazy stones. I'm glad you asked that highly perceptive follow up query. Rough cuts back. What'd he give you? He must be smuggling diamonds again. Is it. Is it over? For now. Coding a distributed algorithm virus on a kitty computer with less RAM than a wristwatch is hard enough. Now I have to hear Team think in my skull? My utility fog is not a weapon. It's science. Brilliant science. And of course I can track it, but I'd have to go online. Might as well rent a billboard with this address and assassinate me written in neon. Thank you for everything. Now that you're a Green Lantern, Will you join us in our fight against the Red Lanterns? I would love nothing more than to go with you. But I'm more than a Green Lantern to my people. You're their queen. Yes. And duty to them comes first. Unfortunately, my birthright is not a choice. In fact, there are very few things I can choose. But this is one of them. This is so exciting! I can't believe I'm here at a super cute agency with my super secret boyfriend! Oops, wait! <laughs> Flip that. I'm so excited I got it all jumbled up in my mouth! <laughs> the heart, body, and mind join as one. Salutations, friends. I am honored to be here in this fine institution where I know our friendship will blossom and the bonds of social segregation will give way to unite us as one. Spike! Spike, it's all so clear! Can't you see? Discord's trying to distract us from what's important. He knows how powerful our friendships are, and he's trying to keep us from seeing it. Do you remember what I said the first day we arrived in Ponyville? I told you that the future of Equestria didn't rest on me making friends. But the opposite is true. The friendships I've made since I've been here are what saved Equestria from Nightmare Moon, and now they need to save it from Discord. Hey there, little gal. You sure seem to like chasing those Zoomits. Do I ever? Someday I'm gonna be someone's Zoomit dog. It's in my blood. Zoomit plus person plus me equals love. Are you sure that's what you want? Yeah, cause you're sort of terrible. Nah, that's okay. I know I'm not very good, but I'll get better. And someday, a Zoomit throwing human will take me home. It'll be rad! Excuse me? Are you the great hero cat they've been telling me about? Well, I, uh... I, uh... This is Lily. The kitten will be helping out tomorrow. The guys from Shelter 25 just dropped her off. Thanks 
for helping me to get to my family, Mr. Twinkle Bell. I'm so excited. Mmm, delicious! Wow. Now I have seen everything. Kind sir, do you have any cake by chance? I'm not looking for cake, princess. I'm looking for special people. Have you seen any? Well, there's no need to be rude about it. This is gonna be good. That was a first-class Heine whipping. Pills. The red kitty dogs love them. Fly away, God's creature! Yay! Now there's two kitty dogs! Good morning, Perseus. Can you go check up on your father? He should be near the docks. Are we setting sail today, Mother? The seas are to be calm today, but there are no boats on the water. Something must be wrong. Tackler, are you all right? Yes. Asura. Father! You're safe. I wonder if he's going to present you with a medal for defeating Vlitra. She's right. You mustn't keep the Emperor waiting. <sighs> Welcome to my bedroom. Don't think that me letting you in here is an invitation for any funny stuff. I mean, not that I have a problem with funny stuff. Especially not if you really like the person. But that isn't what I wanted to talk about. Claire found this one inside the perimeter. I know this one never travels alone. What happened to the rest? Her driver got away. I'm not scared! I'm the heir to the Kingdom of Thundera! I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, Batbrain? Like it? What am I saying? Of course you do! Who wouldn't? That dumbass is why you're not paid to think. It's some kind of bad trick. Show yourself, B-Man! Plus you ain't got the guts! Oh, look who it is! Batman's little helper. Looks like he left you all alone. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Uh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon. And he's waiting for you. Harley? Harleen. A little bird told me some creep was dressed up like the Joker, fighting a Batman wannabe. You got the look, and a lot of nerve. What you don't have is the right. Ow. Joker was a hero. You're not fit to lick his boutonniere. Do you know the trouble you found? I'm sure you'll tell me. No more terrorism. You're the terrorist. I'm in no mood, Victor. Too much trigon for breakfast? How's daddy? Let's go see him. Let my plaything get away, Batman! That wasn't nice! Just because you're such a gloomy Gus doesn't mean we all have to be that way. Now that poor bitch will go back to her drab little life when I could have made her fun forever! Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, you don't know? I don't. I was afraid. I got away. <laughs> it's not freedom. It's work. It's wrong. Do you cuties need some counseling? I'm a trained therapist. It would seem I've overdone it on the pheromones. If I had something pungent enough, maybe I could... You, since you've been eavesdropping this whole time, perhaps you could find something? Enough! All this sappy little flower talk. What happened to the swamp thing that used to challenge me? 
Why so frowny, Wandy? We all gotta make a suit when we get here. It's tradition. Designing costumes is just not my thing. Wait a minute. There's something you ain't good at. Ha! Anyway, I got a brainstormy for you. Why make a new one when you already got a snazzy super suit? Ralph, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Mm. Oh, hi. Uh, nothing suspicious happening here. Me? Hero of the month? That's so unexpected. We've been running a long time. That takes real stamina. It could be years before I'm on to Brilliant's throne. Seems a shame to limit my options in the here and now. Hello, and welcome to the offices of Dr. Theron Sedrax. My name is Holiday, and I'm pleased to assist you. If you've got any search and rescue teams available, let's get them moving. It's no use. They just get shot down too. That's the fifth transport the Regulator mercenaries have shot down. Must be 60, 70 people they've killed in the last hour. We've sent dozens of volunteers to take down the anti-aircraft guns. But the mercenaries, there's just too many of them. It'd take an army. Wow, nervous much? I'm practicing what I'll say when I finally meet Spider-Man. Here. You think it's true that Spider-Man hangs out here at Midtown? He's been seen on campus often enough. He could be anybody. A student, a teacher, or... Twit, twit! Well, maybe not anybody. Ah! Stay down, bug! Who hired you, bozos? I preferred him unconscious. You miserable little devil! The Carnage Queen is in complete control. Carnage is order! Are you the ones angering my pets? I am not a creation. I am a creator. Attack all the intruders! Nobody messes with the Gamma Twins. Knock it off! Oh, smell worse than that! No. Hey, watch out! Quit tripping me up, you little bowling ball! I trust you're all familiar with Ronan the Accuser. Fanatic, ruthless, power mad. And fortunately, now no longer among the living. However, his elimination means that Thanos, the greatest threat to our galaxy, is now without a general. Ronan's absence from Thanos' inner circle has created a power vacuum. Isn't he adorbs when he's sleepy? You tell me 37 different lies in three days! Either you make me princess right now or I'll blow you out of smithereens! That was pretty impressive. You're too sweet. Whoa! What a sight. Exactly as I remember. Oh, hey. Hi. You, you too. Yeah. But how is it possible that after 25 years you haven't aged? Okay, how many creeps are creeping around out there? Lots. No problem. We've taken out more than this before, right? Just watch me, brain. Well, that was easy. Want to get some lunch? I am so hungry. <gasps> I forgot to scan above us, didn't I? The wind's already? This doomsday is moving along quite briskly. You folks are abandoning your beautiful home for a new one? Just like that? What? Of course not. Phew. Well, there aren't any planets left in our system. We have absolutely no idea where we're going. We'll just fly through space until we run out of fuel or food, whichever comes first. How does one fight off cannibals? Some kind of pointy stick, I assume. Mr. Flutterby, it's your lucky day. My associate, Roni. <laughs> yeah, Roni, yeah, that's me, yeah. yeah. Ahem. Roni and I are here to save you from this bland, boring bread. <laughs> Roni, pizzazzle Mr. Flutterby. The keyword is fashionably. I got in late last night, but there was this party, and then the after party, and then the after after party. I needed a major powder break to freshen up before meeting you guys. Good thing I made it on time. Have you heard of the Chompy Mage? He is very bad. He is not invited to Willikin Town, but he comes anyway. He summons all the Chompies, and when we try to stop him, he shifts into other world. But so can you shift. Maybe you can stop him? Blinded by the light. Oh, the 
Oh, hi! My name's Squirrel Girl. Maybe you've heard of me? Tell me again how you defeated Dr. Doom. Get him, gang! I do that to all the supervillains. I am Ileana Rasputin, Queen of Limbo. You crave the darkness? You shall have it! Such power. The Soul Sword can disrupt any magic. It feasts on the demonic. You will believe in magic. Just look at you. All you heroes. And here, at the center, little old me. Aren't you even curious about why I did it? All this chaos and destruction? It's past my bedtime. <laughs> Not in never past bedtime land. Here we go! village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. A good nanny is hard to find. Or in this case, it's hard for a good nanny to find me. I had four applicants for the job due here an hour ago, but none of them have shown up. Did I give them bad directions, or are they all just totally incapable? I'd write them all off, but I'm getting desperate. See if you can't find them and point them my way. Hey, Mom, can I 5,000 yen? 5,000? For what? Do I look like I'm made of money? No, no but... Well, you said you'd buy me some new running shoes. Running shoes can't cost that much. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Well, Pumas sure do. Pumas? Yes, Puma. Uh, 